Hello and welcome to the Yogscast Guide to the Heroic Aerodax, the final boss of the Heroic Grimba Toll. The first thing you should know about this boss is that he has an ability called Binding Shadows, which is a targeted missile that will drain the life and root anyone who gets hit by it. This will heal the boss, but it is avoidable, so if you're quick you can get out of it. His second ability is called Enfeebling Blow, which knocks the tank back and also gives them a debuff that increases damage taken by 100% for a few seconds. This means it's not really worth tanking him up against the wall. The main ability of this boss is something called Shadow Gale. He places down a void zone that everyone needs to run to, and then covers the entire arena in a big swirling vortex. By standing in the void zone, you are at the eye of the vortex and therefore take no damage. Once the Shadow Gale is over, two faceless guardians will spawn from the back of the room. These will run towards the eggs on either side of the room and try and hatch them. You need to split your DPS to ensure they both die quickly. They can be slowed but not stunned or rooted and if they manage to reach the eggs and cast their spell on them, adds will spawn which heal the boss, making the fight longer and making your job a lot harder. The Shadow Gale Vortex will spawn near to a random player, so make sure your group is spaced out on one side of him, so it's easy to run to the Vortex. Uh, during the Shadow Gale, the boss takes 100% extra damage, so be sure to hit him hard in these phases. If you have a lot of melee DPS who are standing behind him or out of the way, the Vortex could spawn behind him or in a place where it's a bit difficult to get to. This fight doesn't really favour melee because uh, Aerodax has another ability called Shield of Nightmares that he will cast on one of the adds. This add will actually make it explode when it takes damage, so if you've got melee attacking that add, they could die. <laughs> so remember to quickly move towards the Shadow Gale Vortex. But, 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 as soon as the Vortex ends, you want everyone to spread out as quickly as possible. We failed to get a kill on him before because he used his Binding Shadows ability and it hit like all of us which healed him for a lot which meant that we couldn't get the kill yeah that was pretty annoying this is one of those fights where you shouldn't really start zerging the boss when he gets low you should just carry on with what you were doing because there's a lot of things that can heal him and you might suddenly miss the kill because he's just healed up or something otherwise um, keep your calm keep going through the Shadow Gales keep avoiding the missiles and get into a routine uh, and you will have absolutely no problem. It's a fight you need to go through and learn and see everything happening or watch videos like this and save yourself a couple of wipes. <laughs> yeah.